Hello and welcome. I'm Marie Taylor, a coach, speaker and developer of Leaders. It's my pleasure to bring you tips on fast and slow thinking. The world is speeding up. We do so many things faster than ever before. We travel faster than we did 10 years ago. Our channels of communication are instantaneous. And the wealthier we become, the more fast food we consume. The fast food industry in India is currently increasing by 41% a year as incomes rise in that fast growth economy. We're living our lives in fast mode. We associate being fast with progress. A problem of being in a fast world is that we shortcut, scan and put pressure on ourselves and others to come up with a quick response. We don't always think things through or go and find out the real answer. We're just so busy and it's a problem because in our hurry to get to wherever our mind is going, we are less likely to be able to give considered thinking to things that matter. It's affecting our health. What scientists agree on is that the cells in our bodies are intelligent and respond to our thoughts. So if I think negatively about something, all of that negativity is passing through the cells in my body. If I choose my thoughts by thinking positively more often, it must follow that I can choose how to be in the body too. Purposeful thinking, being in control of our thoughts, can help us to maintain positive well-being. So let's take a look at fast and slow thinking. We're slow thinking all of the time. So as I'm talking to you, whether you are conscious of it or not, you are monitoring. Asking yourself, am I comfortable in this seat? I wonder what I will have for lunch or dinner. Is it warm? Is it cold? What will I do this evening? Who will I see today? We're not even aware that we're doing it. So it's helpful when we need to access our slow thinking because we're already good at it. Understanding the distinctions is useful. Too much fast thinking is stressful. Too much slow thinking can make us shut down. That's not to say fast thinking isn't valuable. It is, very, for certain things. Sometimes we need to access our vast database of memories and historical knowledge and make a quick decision. In fast thinking, we're sitting with questions and looking for or giving answers. It's so often associated with tasks, with active doing. In slow, we're exploring ideas and drawing on our knowledge to sense make in a considered way. We need both. Understanding how to harness them is the key. Becoming conscious of which type of thinking we need at any given point can be really useful. We become conscious of our thinking by slowing down and turning the rest of the world off, even if only for a minute. Simply closing our eyes and going inside to ask, how do I want to think about this? And which resources will I use to consider it? A really quick way to kickstart your fast thinking is to either take a pen and paper and jot down your thoughts really quickly or stand up, walk around and tell your head to generate ideas or solutions to the problem you are dealing with. The physical shift and focus of attention helps shift our pace of thought generation. These tips have been devised to help you think purposefully and be in the driving seat of your thinking. Our thinking influences our beliefs and our beliefs inform how we show up in the world every day. My objective in bringing you these tips is to help you notice your thinking so that you can manage it rather than have it manage you.